Hello everyone, in today's video we'll be starting out in the VAB, getting ready to send an entire Saturn V to Minmus. So this doesn't mean we're just going to launch the Saturn V to Minmus, we're going to launch the entire Saturn V. The entire Saturn V will land on, the, on Minmus. I put in the name that it would go to Duna, because I thought it would have enough fuel to go to Duna, but unfortunately it did not have enough fuel to make it to Duna, so I ended up settling for landing the Saturn V on Minmus. Uh, Basically what I did is I just copied the lower boosters, so it's just six Saturn V boosters with some extra fuel, uh, six Saturn V lower stage boosters with some extra fuel, um, and then an upper stage with a, I think it was a Rhino engine, um, and one of the largest Kerbodyne tanks with just the nose cones on top. Needed a lot of uh, struts and fuel line, or just one fuel line, but lots of struts because it was very unstable, and for some reason auto strut stopped working, so I had to make sure that everything was strutted properly. And this is, I think, my... F this is after I finished building it, so we're sending it to Minmus now, and you can see all the engines firing. Um, the Saturn V engine, so the main Saturn V that's in the middle, it, its engines are firing, but it has fuel lines connected to the outside, so it's not losing any fuel. Uh, I'm playing this, I think, at three times speed, and you can still see a bit of lag. This is a very laggy spacecraft. It's essentially seven Saturn Vs that are going to mend this. Um, and I'm not sure how laggy it will be in the recording, I might have to make it go faster than it already is. And as I begin, the ascent, the F1 engines start to generate more and more thrust as the fuel is drained, so I have to keep the throttle down to 1.5 to keep as much efficiency as possible. Once I get past about 26,000 meters, then I'll throttle up the engines again to get the maximum amount of thrust. Um, and this way, we get more efficiency so that we can get to min-miss. Um, and I was trying to get the Duna uh, but realized once I was in orbit that I would not have enough fuel to get there. Um, so I think... Yeah, this is when I throttled the engines back up to full. At the end of this video, when the Saturn V will land on Minmus, um, then in a future video, I can take the Saturn V wherever you guys would like me to. So put it in the comments below where you want the Saturn V to go. It should have enough fuel to even land on EVE and maybe even go to Eve's um, moon. Uh, might be able to go to Duna, might be able to go to many places. So now the engines have all just separated with some explosions there. I don't think it caused any damage to the main rocket. Um, I could be wrong, but I think it was just the outer boosters. And the lag starts to dissipate as those boosters kind of float away. And as soon as we lose those uh, rhino engines, then the lag will be gone, finally. Um, but that will be much later in the flight. So now we are coasting to Apogee, and I think we're gonna, yeah, transition to Apogee here in a second. And we fire up those Rhino engines, producing an insane amount of thrust. But it also is very unstable um, for some reason, which is really strange, but the Rhino engines were pushing it downwards, even though there was an equal amount of thrust on every side. It was really weird. It was very difficult to, uh, to get two minimus to get the orbital inclination burns right because of how off the rhino engines were. And we're almost completed with the burn here because these have an insane amount of power. I had to keep RCS on, which I didn't really want to waste the RCS, but RCS had to stay on because of just how unstable these rhino engines were. You can see that it's pitching up like way higher than it should have been. And orbit has been achieved. So now orbit has been achieved. We're going to plot a maneuver for periapsis to Minmus. Should have a transition here. No. Okay. So now we're plotting a transition to uh, Minmus. And I would have to do a correction burn because I didn't get a very good encounter. I think I actually do two correction burns. Um. So we just got the encounter with Minmus, and now we're going to time warp to the maneuver, and then fire up the engines. 
and it only takes 10 seconds for 900 meters a second of fuel to be burned with how powerful those were. I should have probably um, ditched some of the tanks and just had it like the asparagus staging. That would have probably been better, more efficient. I might have even been able to make it to Duna if I had done that. Um, but I ended up just going for the simple type of staging. Uh, and this is the first... Oh, I skipped the first cartridge one. So now I'm getting to uh, Minmus, and I forgot to make a uh, correction burn to get in a closer orbit, so I had to just burn off a ton of fuel uh, retrograde. I think I had to burn off like 200 meters a second of fuel, or maybe more than that, just to get an orbit of Minmus. Um, and the uh, Rhino engines only have about 100 meters a second of fuel left, I believe, so we'll have to use the lower stage of the Saturn V but it will not be used up, we'll only use about 400 meters a second of its fuel by the time we've landed on this. And now we are coming. So now we've just made the transition to uh, uh, getting an orbit of Minmus and circulating the burn. Um, you can see how nice Minmus looks with the parallax mod. It uh, doesn't change anything in, uh, besides how the planets look, and I think it looks pretty nice. Um, so now we're coming in for a landing. Um, it's a little bit harder to land a Saturn V than I thought it would be. Uh, not very maneuverable. So, uh, I'm glad I chose Midmus. It was the easiest planet to land on, I think. But, uh, firing up those F1 engines, which easily slow it down on Midmus. Uh, and then get getting ready for a land. So, cutting off those engines make sure RCS is on because otherwise I would have no control over the vehicle and just leaving it on the lowest throttle that way it can gain control over the vehicle and the F1 engines can gimbal. And we're coming up on a landing just under 10 meters a second now I think. I also really like how that plume looks with the waterfall mod. I would highly recommend the waterfall mod. Uh, but now we're coming up on a landing and Touchdown. In a future video, I might bring an SSTO to refuel the Saturn V and launch it to Duna. But for now, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.